Tom here from Orange Systems. We're going to talk about this portable display from AUZAI. I'm not exactly sure how to say their name, so I'll just let you guys pronounce it however you want. But first, if you'd like to learn more about me or my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. If you'd like to hire Share a project, there's a Hire Us button right up at the top. If you'd like to support this channel in other ways, there's some affiliate links down below to get you deals and discounts on products and services we talk about on this channel. There's also links to our Patreon if you'd like to become a supporter. There is also a swag store where you can get shirts and other items. And finally, if you'd like to have a discussion more in-depth than just the YouTube comments about this video or suggestions for new videos, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com and we can have a more in-depth discussion. All right, now back to the video. So this is a portable 15.6 inch USB C display. I really like it. This is, I've been using it for a few days here. They reached out to me, wanted to send me the product for review. I said, hey, I'm actually in the market for this. The little scary part is that I was in the market for it and someone ran, randomly sent an email out and I can, you know, go conspiracy on that and maybe they were listening. I don't know. Or maybe they just know I, I like tech and this seems like a pretty logical thing. Now, I swear when they sent it to me, when they first reached out to me, uh, the price was a little bit less, but prices are fluctuating a lot right now on Amazon based on its April of 2020. So we'll go down here and talk about the specs because that's what really matter. It's the 15 inch display, USB type C, mini HDMI, um, IPS panel, 250 nits of brightness, thousand to one contrast ratio and a response time of 30 milliseconds. So it's not gonna be, they, you know, said it's a gaming monitor, but this is obviously not your super high end gaming monitor, but for business work, I've actually found it really, really well. Now ports on the side here, the three ports, like they said, they have uh, two USB-Cs, one mini HDMI, one little rocker slash button on the side here, and a power button and a headphone jack, because this actually has not only a headphone jack, it supports uh, the audio over USB or HDMI, and you can plug a headphone into it. So I thought that's great, and it fits the use case if you want to uh, use it for the gaming experience. Now, if you go down here at the bottom, Amazon always offers like suggestions and comparisons, and at first I was like, hey, this is a lot like this one here, not like this one. This one's low res. 1366 768. It must be much more like this uh, Asus Zen screen. Maybe that's what they're trying to compete with. But after trying to find a, a, a more accurate representation of what it looks like, we found this. And I didn't find this for sale on Amazon, but uh, MSI, which makes some really nice products, if you look at this MSI, it has exactly the same specs and exactly the same layout and buttons. It's silver, this is black. So I found that kind of interesting. Um, and the MSI one I did find on sale at Micro Center. It's like, a, I think it was on sale for 209, but it was out of stock at Micro Center. But prices vary, so uh, check prices. Don't assume my prices that I said right now in April of 2020 are exactly what they always are. So. I'm not going to do the whole unboxing. The boxing was nice. Um, the packaging was well done. It came with everything they said. We've got a USB C to C, a USB uh, A to C, and we have a HDMI to HDMI mini. I'm glad they included that because it has HDMI mini in there. I want to make sure they say HDMI, but it is HDMI mini. And that's one of those things for people who are going, but I just have an HDMI HDMI cable and I thought I could plug my you know, device into it, that may be a problem. I do really like this folio case. It folds over really nice. And I think the folio case weighs more than the screen, uh, but the screen itself, super tiny in terms of thin, light, weighs nothing, no batteries or anything. And it. it's completely powered off a of USB-C. USB-C only, by the way, there's no other way to power it on there. It does have two USB-C ports, but it's, this weighs nothing. So that is uh, most of the weight comes from the folio. Now the folio is held on by magnets, which makes it really nice to easy close. It's thick, this feels really heavy. It doesn't feel like something cheap that'll fall apart. But when you flip it over and I do like this, if I don't put my fingers to hold this a little bit when I'm doing the folio flip, it will potentially come off with the magnets. I may put some double-sided tape. I left it off for the uh, review, but it feels like if I put some double-sided tape on there, I wouldn't have to worry about it. And it was not really me because I'm careful, but I let my wife use this too. And when she flipped it, it's like, she goes, oh, the cover comes right off. I'm like, it sure does. Uh, but I figured it'll keep it aligned. That's the only complaint I have from the physical aspect of it. So the screen itself did come with a screen protector. That's in the list that did ship. And I'm pointing it at the studio lights to get a reflection, but let me point it like this, like you might be looking at it. You notice 
that the matte finish on this is really nice. When you put the screen protector, thank you for including one, but it adds a little bit of gloss to it, and I really like the matte finish on there. It's so nice, I don't want to uh, take away from that. Now, I did check the wattage usage on it with my little fancy tester here. We'll plug it in real quick and show you. With the brightness set at 50%, it seems to use about 3.3 watts. And if we crank the brightness up to go all the way up to the max 100, it's pulling about 5.8 watts. Now, I don't know exactly how accurate this little $10 tester is, but this does fit in line with the specs of the system. And uh, yes, I'm powering it with just a you know, little portable power adapter from Anchor that I use. So I thought that was kind of cool. And from a portable gaming perspective, I thought about this might be kind of fun to plug my Raspberry Pi Retro Pi in uh, to this and see how long it would last for my Retro Pi put to this and be able to play some games. Kind of neat. Now, this is where software-wise or firmware, I guess you would say with this, there is a little bit of a weird bug with it. So while it works wonderful over USB-C with my laptop, and you can power it directly from my laptop, and it doesn't pull too much, but obviously if you're running your laptop on battery, it's going to run the battery down, uh, well, 5 watts faster. The settings on it don't get saved when you plug it into a laptop. When it comes on, all the settings are cleared. This is where the puzzle comes in. If you power it, and I have plugged into the over on the floor here, a standard uh, USB-C. This is actually a charger I use for my laptop. If you power it off of this, it works. So if I plug it in here, it remembers the settings, whatever I saved them to. But when it's powered only off the laptop, and I tried this with more than one laptop, it doesn't save the settings. That's a puzzle, and I find it a little bit strange, but of note. So if you are, if you do purchase one of these and you're wondering why doesn't it save the brightness setting and I have to turn it up each time, that's why. If it's plugged into the wall, it works fine. Uh, it seems to remember the settings, but when it's plugged in the laptop, it doesn't. So kind of a puzzle. Speaking of which, when we do plug it in here, if you have a laptop that only has a single USB-C, have no fear, wherever I put it, there it is, the uh, USB-C to C, it will charge your laptop as well. So if I plug this in, and this uh, gray cable is going to the floor to uh, to a adapter, and I plug it into the port that accepts charging on my ThinkPad. I get both remembered settings and a charged laptop. My laptop is nice enough to have two USB Cs. Both of them work for video out, uh, so that works quite well. Now, the last thing I'm going to do, of course, is what does it look like? How good is the picture? I, I can only show you so much, but I'm going to go ahead and pull up some nice looking content on here and switch it to a slightly dimmer studio light, which is still bright, probably more like a home brightness. Right now, uh, to give you an idea, this is substantially brighter than your house in here for my filming and studio. So we're going to switch the settings real quick. So this might give you a better idea of what the display actually looks like. No video editing tricks here. And this is a really nice looking display. So one thing I will say for this, clarity, glare, everything else, it's a great display. Now ThinkPads do have wonderful displays. And so by comparison, uh, it really holds up quite well to matching with my ThinkPad in terms of a quality display. I'm overall really happy with the picture and the look on it. I love how thin and slim it is. It's uh, I imagine you could even hang it on the wall or come up with your own mounting to it. It weighs very little, but doesn't have any type of mounting on the back. The back's just flat on the back like this. But uh, yeah, it's an impressive it's an impressive display overall for the price. I think it's a pretty good deal. The fact that it has speakers on it is kind of a bonus. Uh, the speakers, like I said, are better than my ThinkPads, which that's saying very little. ThinkPads have very crappy speakers in them, at least all the ones I've ever owned. Uh, but two downfiring stereo speakers, pretty reasonable. And for having the audio come right out when you're doing the video, uh, looks really good. It's it's kind of cool when I'm looking at it in the camera from here because it does have, uh, it's so thin. I know the screens are getting thinner, but it still impresses me because I've been around computers a long time. I remember when they weren't this thin. Uh, but overall, I do like the product, even though it was sent to me for free. So take that bias for uh, what it's worth. But I do like to disclose that. I'll leave a link to on Amazon for here. If I get another one, maybe I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. But it's really hard to do side-by-side -side comparisons uh, unless you have two of exactly the same product. But my overall feelings on this is the screen quality is really good. Uh, the product quality seems you know pretty decent here. It feels well-made. It doesn't feel like all flexy and cheap. Um, I We'll probably put some double-sided tape, but other than that, that's a pretty minor complaint on it. So overall, I think it's a good product. Thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. 
If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.